Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series and today we have a quick video because I'm answering what appears to be the number one question that I've received since iOS 15 and macOS Monterey and that is how do you delete tags? Well that's what I'm going to show you today with the aid of reminders but whatever I show you in reminders today is also applicable in Apple Notes. You can remove tags in the same way. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Apple's productivity suite of applications then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let me take you into my reminders now and I'm going to show you how you can remove all those unused tags. Okay, so here we go. So these are my tasks for today. And let's just say I've got this task here, this tag here called admin, and I want to get rid of it. So first things first is you can just go, the way to get rid of your tags is I find it's the easiest thing to do is just click on the tag itself. It will bring everything up. Now, what I want to show you is something that's happened here. What you'll notice is that I've got a completed task here. What you need to do is you need to remove all the labels from all these ta tags. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to delete that one. I'll go there and just double tap on that, delete, and I'm going to delete the 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 re deleted one. And there we go. It's all done. And what you'll notice now is down at the bottom there, my admin task has gone. Now it's still showing there, but if I go out of that now, I cannot find that tag. So if I go into here again, and we're going to go, uh, we'll put the, the hashtag, oops, hashtag, and we're going to type admin. So I recreate the tag, hit return. The tag is now returned. And you can see down at the bottom here uh, that I already have this tag. It's right there. And again, all I do is tap on the tag and I can do remove that. Now, just one more thing. What I would suggest you do is, and you do this in notes, particularly do this one in notes, is if you just type in the hashtag admin, it'll then show you all the ones that have got admin. Now it's got the word admin in here, but it's not got the tag. I removed the tag before. But again, if I just remove that now, and you'll notice once that's removed, and I hit uh, return then, just hit return, and go back into my today view. But we'll go down to the bottom and you'll see that admin has gone. Now this is exactly the same in Apple Notes. It's going to remove the tag. So the way to get rid of the tag is to delete all the tasks or notes that have that tag and then or remove the tag from the notes I should say don't delete the notes but you can remove the tag from all the notes but you must remember to delete also the completed ta tasks or or notes as well so if you've got notes in your in your delete folder which you may have double check in there because if you have a tag in there and even though you think you've deleted it if it's in the deleted folder in your notes then it's also going to continue showing until, well, for 30 days because it takes 30 days for your deleted notes to disappear unless you go in and manually remove the tag. So a quick video today. I, it's just a question that I've been asked so many times over the last week or two. So I thought I will do a special video showing you how to remove tags in iOS 15. And by the way, you can do this on Mac OS uh, uh, as well, Monterey, it's also be able to do that and you can do it on your phone, of course. Just it's easier to show you on a bigger screen using the iPad. Thank you very much for watching this video and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your Apple productivity systems to the next level and you want to bring in your calendar, your reminders, your iCloud and your Apple Notes, all together into one beautiful productivity system, then please take a look at my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course. It's completely updated for Mac OS Big Sur and iOS 14 
and it's readily available now. All you need to do is pop over to my learning center, get yourself enrolled, and within about 90 minutes to two hours, you're gonna have yourself the know-how to build your very own Apple productivity system. I hope you join me in this course. This course now includes how to set up the Apple system using the time sector system so you get a modern day time management system fit for the world that we live in today and the world that we're probably about to move into next year in 2021 2022 okay thanks very much for watching this video and i really do hope you join me in this course